Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to texture map a wall in Blender. This is a beginner tutorial uh, to understand how texture mapping works and how a two-dimensional image can be wrapped onto a three-dimensional object so that it looks uh, somewhat correct. Okay, so because uh, it's not possible to get exactly uh, the same results, but you can try to do your best. So you can see that uh, this tone uh, follows onto the left and then the top stone follows onto the right. So we are trying to see and understand how texture mapping works in Blender. So what I'll do is go to a new file and I'll not save this one. Uh, first things uh, by hitting the N key we will add some dimensions so the wall is 5 meters tall and 10 meters wide. Okay. So we will add an image texture to this object. So we'll go to the material properties, click on base color, use image texture, open. I have an image texture that I want to use, which I downloaded from the internet. Okay, so you have to click on this button to see what you get. All right, so do the texture mapping, you have to go to UV editing. And you can see that uh, again you will have to change this to shaded mode. So this is the three-dimensional object that has been opened up uh, onto our two-dimensional image which is this one. So now we will go to the polygon mode and select this polygon and the first thing is to understand how this polygon is placed on this image okay so if i make this image big you can see this corner is on the left but here it is on the bottom here okay so we can try to get the scale right i'll scale this big move it down okay so we get approximately scale right but now it has to be rotated so we get the desired result. I think it's still not correct. And it is not correct because the other thing what I'll do is I'll only select the top two vertices and try to move it up and down. So you can see that the top vertex correspond to the left, left vertex. So we have to rotate this around and I'm going to snap it to rotation and it will be snapped 50 degrees so now we can scale it small move it up we'll turn the snapping off and now i will scale it in the sideways so now you can see that this part is placed here and it is more or less mapped correctly. So I will try to do it like this. Okay. So now we got this image placed correctly the way we want. Now we need to place this one correctly. So this one is here. And again, we need to do the same thing. Make sure that this one is top, which is not. So this top part corresponds to left. So we will again now snap it and rotate it. So once you get this placement of the texture right, okay, then everything works. If I hit the shift and this button, then you can see both the textures working fine. And now we simply need to align this here. Turn the snapping off and I'll align this one here. We'll make this shorter. Okay, and then now you can see that things align automatically quite well. Okay, now you get that continuity on the left side. So now we'll look at the top part. Again, we will do the same thing. This is on the left, so we'll have to rotate it again. Then it has to be narrow, turn this off, select this, shift, and this. So we can now work with all these three. 
So try to keep the width, this width same as this width, approximately. This will be placed on top here. And we have to make sure, so I'll select all of this and move it down. Okay, so I'll try to align this here on the left and I'll try to align this to the right. Okay, so you can see that now it is flowing correctly. And then uh, we can select the whole thing and try to map it in such a way that it looks better. Okay. And that's about it. So you can do the others, but uh, uh, maybe the wall is placed in such a way that only the camera is going to be seen from here. So it's not necessary to do everything if it is not going to be seen through the camera. So if you're going through the wall and you want to make sure that this is going to align, then you can do it. But if you are just focusing on these three angles, or if it is two angles, then you just need to worry about two and not spend your time doing all the sides. Uh, whatever is not seen, it doesn't matter where it is. But that's how texture mapping is done in Blender. Thank you very much.